how to develop a piece of land, raw land to your dreamscape and possibly your future. There is so much money involved in this, it's phenomenal. In this video, I promise you, you will be addicted to this. You're gonna drive around and all of a sudden see all this land out there. You're going, oh my God, I didn't realize the potential. Right now, more than any other time in our history, have there been more ways to develop and profit from raw land to fully developed. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this step by step in this video. Now here's the reality. No matter what you're looking to do, developing a piece of property has a lot of pitfalls but it also has a lot of profit. Probably one of the most entry levels you can do is say, hey, I wanna find a piece of property, build on one half of it, and then live on the other half. In other words, two properties where this property being sold pays for this half over here. Brilliant move, by the way. So when you're out looking at properties and you see this undeveloped piece of property and you're scratching your head and going, what could I do with this? Don't start fantasizing about it, get the facts. How much can I subdivide? It's like, for instance, the rules. California says you can subdivide any, any property under two acres to develop it. But even though that says that, the county goes, no, we don't wanna do it. So that's what you're gonna do. Go to the state and fight it. You've gotta find out what's reality and what you can do in the area. But the sky's the limit. There are so many things that you can do with this. So let's start at the basics. First of all, when you find a piece of property, you need to know some facts. First of all, is the property graded and level? Anything with any type of slope, you're going to run into grading. What does that mean? It doesn't mean you can't do it. It means it's going to cost you more money. Number one. Number two, what kind of utilities are at that property? I don't want them across the street. I don't want them down the street. Is the power pole, the power pole hot? Is it going right to the property? So anytime you see a telephone pole and they've got those little aluminum numbers on there, you can write that number down call the power department and they will determine how close they're gonna to have to get to that property, which will determine how much money it's gonna cost. They're not gonna drop it in for free. They're gonna charge you to put the power to that property. Sewage, is the city gonna be on septic? Or uh, the property gonna be on septic? Or is it gonna be on city sewer? And how much is it gonna to take to get there? Water, where's the water coming from? Those are the three basics. You got power, sewer, and water. How much is that gonna cost? Oh, the water's just right over there. Okay, at $100 a linear foot, that could cost you five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 just to get it to your property. That's before you put the water meter. It could be another $15,000. They sound scary, but they're not a big deal if you're putting them in, into perspective. And the amount of times I've seen people that have tried to develop a property and didn't foresee that, they get some fantasy of building a house and all they're looking at is the construction of a house and not what it takes to get the property ready for the construction of the house. There's a lot of cost involved in it. and there's a lot of profit involved in just getting a property ready. Let me give you an example. I've got nine properties right now that I'm developing. I've paid a minimal amount of money on these properties. I'm getting the water meter, I'm getting the power, I'm getting everything and then we sit. Just by getting those ready from that stance forward, let's say it cost me about $75,000 per lot, the value of those properties almost doubles because they're ready to what? Build, you got it. I could even go a step further and get plans approved at the county. You with me on this? Now I've got a developed piece of property with plans that are ready to build. If anybody wants to buy a house in that area to do it the quickest, would have to come through me. Now I know for a fact that that particular area that I'm talking about is a nine month window to make that happen. So in order to build a house, if they know what they're doing, minimum nine months. If they go through me, they can start next week. So again, I haven't done anything. I haven't built anything. I've just developed the property. We got the threes, right? We got the power, the sewer, and then the um, water. And then I got the plans approved to build it but I haven't done anything. Just that alone could double or even um, two and a half times the value of the property, which gives me time. So now I'm sitting there, okay, we're looking around. Okay, I put some money in this property. I put 75 in it. Maybe it's worth 150 to $200,000, just the way it sits right now. Now I can sit there and go, okay, is it time to build? What's the economy doing? So if I build this house right now with the cost of construction, what's that gonna be worth? How long is it gonna take me to build? I already got the plans approved. 
What's my cost basis going to be on that property? And where can I sell on the backside? Okay, so that's the beauty of it. So now I can, if it's not ripe then, now that's why you see these developers that just are sitting on property. I've done this before. So that's phase two. Do I need to sit on it? Phase, phase, um, phase two is to build on it. So then I go, okay, if I build on it, how quickly can I build? When can I get it up for sale or for rent? What is the rental market in that area? Can this thing cash flow because I'm building in quantity? I'm building three, I'm building four, I'm building five. And it sounds like a bigger project, but it's really not. I don't even need to be a builder. Okay, I'm not. I hire somebody to do that, which is another video. So they're going to be doing all this building for me. And so now I go build, sell, build, sell, build, sell, build, own, free, and clear. Hello? Do you see the profit potential on that? Now, let's say I build all three of these and the market's just not where it, I'm profitable, but I know I can do better. So why would I not just go ahead and rent those out? Maybe, maybe if the market's right and you've seen my other videos on it, if not, find those links on Airbnb. Now I've got three properties in a fantastic area that I'm Airbnb and I've got some cash flow going on it and what's happening to the value of those properties. Okay. And the last thing, if we've got profit, because there's big profit in building, okay, if done right, you can make a lot of money on this. The other thing is, is how are you holding the properties? Okay. So am I holding these in my own personal corporate name or am I doing it in my private retirement account? This is huge. Let's go back to the three. Okay. I got three properties in there and let's say I've got $200,000 worth of profit in each one of them. So I've got $600,000 in profit available. Now it doesn't matter what I do. I could sell them right away. Now I've got $600,000 cash inside my retirement account. Can anybody add up what the tax consequence would be in that? Zero. I'm not going to have to pay any taxes and I could go out and do it again. Or I could leave them in my retirement account, do the Airbnb, and all the cash flow goes back to this. So I'm looking at a deal right now. I've got 10 properties. I could sell them all and make $3.5 million. That's fantastic. Or I could hold the properties and rent them out on a worst case scenario, make about forty-five dollars to $50,000 a month of rental income. Which one do you want? Okay, see, the, the, you see how the options just kind of just get huge when you're looking at land. Okay, when you're developing land on this, all of a sudden the profit potential gets really big. And this project might take two or even three years, depending on what your local regulations are. But at the end of the deal, you're sitting on a pile of cash. This is a way a lot of my students will look at it and go, how do I get to my retirement um, maximum as quickly as possible? This could be the way to make that happen. Gosh, there's so many different ways to make that happen. So here's another way. I could buy these properties. I could build. I could sell. I could sell and then pay for this one. So we're doing a 1031 exchange, similar or like properties. So when I sell this one over here, I move that money over into this one. If I sell this one over here, I also move it into this one. I have no tax consequence. If I live in one of these properties for, um, what is it, 25 months out of 60 or something to that effect, you don't have to pay any capital gains up to $500,000 as long as you're married, 250 if you're single. So I could do all these, live in one for a couple of years, sell the darn thing, and I'm zero taxes at a half a million dollars. I want you to think about that. You could do this cycle back every three years, put a half a million dollars in your pocket without paying any taxes whatsoever. I don't know about you, but that smells like fun. Okay, all of these things you can do and make a lot of money. That's why you see me get so excited when I look at land. There are so many opportunities. And, and guess what? I'm eating my own cooking without throwing up. This is what I do. I look at these projects and I say, what's the best use of it? What is everybody seeing but nobody else is doing? That's where I've come up with these things with camping situations, Airbnb. What's the reality of the situation that's going to make this land most use, most profitable, and most beneficial for the whole community? That's what this is all about. And that's why I love this so much. There are so many different opportunities out there for you and your family to make money. You just got to think a little bit. Speaking of which, if you would like some extensive training on this, I've got a brand new video right now on this that you're going to absolutely love. Go to HigginsMethod.com and I've got a complimentary extensive video that show you how to do this from step to step to step all the way to profitability. This is Sean Higgins with the Tax Lean Method saying God bless and good luck.